What's up, everyone? This is Andy doing the Eat, Drink, Repeat podcast for this Saturday. And since there isn't really anything exciting about me eating and drinking, especially since I'm on this diet, it's basically just chicken, brown rice, and the occasional pizza while we're losing weight. Uh, pizza's no good, but we all have our weaknesses. Uh, so today, I'm actually going to talk about uh, the Viking Stadium issue and also the future of my beloved purple people eaters I never really liked that name I don't know purple people eaters just sounds uh, I don't know uh, when I hear that I, I don't think of the great defensive line of the 60s and 70s I think of uh, you know like the McDonald's crew getting in a plane crash like the movie alive and then them eating grimace that's what I think of purple people eaters but tangent aside uh, from all reports, it sounds like the Monday night game against the Bears is going to go down at the University of Minnesota's TCF Bank Stadium, a stadium that does not have a heated field and does not have a heated concourse because it's a college-specific stadium. They don't play games in December or January there, <laughs> or November or October either, for that matter. And it's going to be general admission, so... Anybody who had a ticket to the Vikings game is basically just, it's going to be like a cattle call trying to get in a TCF Bank Stadium if you, you know, really do want to see uh, an injured Joe Webb or a newly minted Patrick Ramsey uh, lead the Vikings up and down uh, the field that's going to be as hard as concrete since there is no uh, way to heat the field. So that will be interesting. But what will not be interesting is the fact that since it is a college stadium, they will not be able to sell booze at the game. Let, let me rephrase that. There will be no booze sold at the football game in sub-freezing weather. This sounds like a recipe for a very enjoyable experience. And... When we're talking about the Vikings possibly building a new stadium, the debate has always gone back and forth. You know, like the old guard is more like, well, you need you need open air stadium so you get the benefits of the elements. And that might have been true uh, when Tampa Bay was in the NFC Central. That was in our division. Uh, I remember as a kid, it was so funny watching the Tampa Bay players uh, in their creamsicle jerseys go up to Lambeau for like a Dece late December game. Uh, I, I think that's where the cold and the elements of the home field advantage actually do come into play when you see a warm other team going to a cold uh, weather open air stadium. But if you're thinking within the, the division, the Packers play in the cold, the Bears play in the cold, and the Lions, well, who cares about the Lions? They're not going to be relevant for another few years anyways. But the home field advantage for the Dome is has always, always, always been the the noise level that the crowds at the Dome can produce since it is a Dome stadium. I think that far outweighs the ancillary benefits that would come uh, with a warm weather team coming into the snow. I'm just saying. And interesting to point out that Mike Florio at ProFootballTalk.com has talked about uh, the Vikings uh, having to play a home game in Detroit as sort of the ghost of Christmas future uh, for the people of Minneapolis and Minnesota and seeing the Vikings play a home game in a different city. And while I was watching the game, I have to admit that I did not care <laughs> at all about the game. Maybe it was the fact that the Vikings play terrible. Uh, Tavares Jackson showed us why we wanted to put Brett Favre out there on one leg or one arm if possible. And Joe Webb got hurt right away. So, I don't know. Um, it might be, I might have not cared just because the, the team and the game was so terrible. Or maybe I didn't care because it just seemed like any other game with any other team hosting it in a different city. And, I don't know, that might be indifference, that might be, you know, sort of a jaded attitude right now, but, 
I don't know. I hopefully uh, seeing the Vikings play it, a home game at a different stadium will get uh, the wheels turning on the legislature and perhaps start a few fires underneath the butts of uh, the powers that be to get the stadium deal done. Because even though I said I, I didn't care that the Vikings uh, played a, uh, in a different stadium, I, th I think it would be a tragedy for the state to lose the Vikings, especially after the history and the fact that they've been here for over 50 years. Now, when we're talking about NFL teams relocating, there's always two hot spots. Uh, the first one is, of course, Los Angeles, which is pretty obvious. And Roger Goodell seems pretty uh, steadfast and adamant that he wants a team to move to London within the next decade try and globalize the great American game. And I could see the Vikings moving to Los Angeles if a new stadium is not built. Uh, the Metrodome's almost 30 years old. Uh, the effing roof just caved in, which was fantastic. And, uh, you know, Ziggy and Mark Wilf, they're pretty smart guys, pretty high IQ. Maybe not the most eloquent speakers in the world, <laughs> as was shown from when they introduced Les Frazier. But I, I could see him having, seeing that there would be more opportunity to grow a Los Angeles franchise uh, than staying in Minnesota without a new stadium. And I think that would just be a sad day because, uh, like many of you, the Vikings is the team that I grew up with. And just uh, seeing great players throughout my youth, Johnny Randall, Chris Carter, uh, Dante, Randy Moss, uh, Todd Stussy, Jeff Christie, Randall McDaniel, Ed McDaniel, good old number 58. And I, I've never cheered for any other football team. And I think it would be weird if the Vikings just up and moved to L.A., would be even more weird is if the Vikings, uh, you know, limped along with the Metrodome for a few years and then eventually moved to London. I think that would be extremely odd, um, not just because it uh, they'd be playing in a different country, but they would have to change the name because throughout history, uh, the Norsemen Vikings have not always been the kindest to Britain or England. Uh, I don't know, something tells me that with historians, the, the London Vikings would just not sit well. They would have to change it to, like, the London Cup of Teas or the, Lond oh, the London Silly Nannies uh, from, <laughs> from that Family Guy episode. And I don't know. That's it. Um, state legislature, get something done for a change. Uh, get something passed, get the Vikings in the new stadium, because I do not want to have to cheer for the Colts. I don't even effing like the Colts. But first off, I'd rather pull out my fingernails than cheer for the Packers, and I'd rather pull out my fingernails and then try and put them back on rather than cheer for the Bears. And nobody's cheering for the Lions, let's be honest. And yeah, that's it. Get a new stadium built now. Because I will hold my breath until a new stadium bill is passed. And a new stadium is coming to Minnesota. All right, ready? Three, two, one.